Wagging in Alfred Barley. He's on for C and J. Get him load up. Dead foggy, like really, really foggy today, which is a bit strange. Sam's just tidied up and I'm just moving the chipper over now because the pile's shrunk that much that it's it's needs moving closer to the pile so that the digger can reach to load it. So I'll just bring it over and spin it around. These are some won't be in our eyes today because it's uh, it's pretty dull. Close to the pile now. Got some cable there and the drill. I'm going to try and put an aerial on the corner of this building. Plug it into the Wi-Fi we've got in here. See if we can get Wi-Fi all over the yard. And then into the workshop and the brew room is the plan and the weighbridge. So that, screw that bracket on and that just clips in. Wire in the bottom and hopefully now that'll reach across the top of this loft in here to the other end and then drop down and plug into where we've got a cat five cable going back to the router in the house because the router in the house has got uh, fiber broadband. Sam's on the chipper, he's gonna try and chip as much as Dave did yesterday. Had just load a load of wheat now. The ball of this morning and now wheat. Um, Rob's just trying to cut the sprocket off now. So we can pull it off because we've cut the bush away and it still won't come because it carries on through the pulley. So we're gonna have to cut the cog and pull it off. This is the fast track piece of glass, the door. I forgot to say yesterday and everyone was like, you never told us how much the door was. Well, 226 pound. I know it's only one piece of glass, but it's curved. I, I thought that was a bargain. I mean, you know, I expected it to be six, seven, 800 pounds. So pretty pleased with that, to be honest. Another delivery from Cramp. I don't know whether you've ever used it, but it's like Amazon, but for tractor stuff. And it even sells genuine stuff. So there's a genuine oil filter for the John Deere 7710 off Cramp. But they have it for other tractors as well. Rob's jumped through that. Have it hit it with a hammer, snapped it off, and then we're just gonna cut a little bit more in the back and hopefully it'll come off. 24 hours later. Oops, nearly. Go on, break, break this champagne bottle. Hey! hey. 48 hours. <laughs> Rob's doing a dance. Rob's dressed the shaft up now with the flat disc, whatever that's gone. And put some copper slip on so it shouldn't seize, but we're also gonna silicon round it as well so we can't get it water ingress. I'm just going to put the motor back on now, but just going to line it up. So I'll put it on a tractor and put it in float. That was why it wouldn't come off. That's the inside of the collar, which is that rusted and sea solid. A few people, look at them blue skies. A few people said, why didn't we use the induction tool to warm it up? Well, to be honest, we forgot it, we had it. And then also this afternoon we couldn't because the electric's been off. Luckily this door is open, so we can get some tractors out of this shed but I've got a pallet of something in the other shed that I need to put in the sprayer and I can't open the shed, so I can't go spraying. But anyway, we're gonna try the muck spreader now because hopefully it should be working. Rob's on the beast, moving it out of the way. If we pull this lever now. Ta -da!
today's quiz question is what is that? Clue behind you. Just spraying this stubble now, showing Andrew what to do, and he says that you can't hear me press that pedal on the videos. So could you hear that then? I don't know. Just got off the spray out. It's just gorgeous day. Look at that sky, it's blue. And um just look at this stubble. It's pretty clean here. A bit over there, I was on the phone, so I've walked this way. Quite a lot of grass weeds, that's what we're killing because they're difficult to kill in beans. And the more that's wiped out, the better. And a few little broad leader weeds as well, which to be honest, they're probably more difficult to kill in beans. Anyway, Andrew's coming up now, and it, it's, I think this is the first time I've properly seen the sprayer. Just gonna get the sun out of your eyes. This is the first time I've properly seen the sprayer working. Um, it looks a beast. <laughs> so thanks everyone for watching. But what I'm really conscious of now is just how much it's costing to go through a field. So the fuel cost is just like three times what it was last year. And the spray we're putting on, although it's glyphosate, which is one of the cheapest herbicides we can use, that's costing four or five times more than it was costing last year. You know, every decision now is just a lot of money. Anyway, I'll flip the camera so you can see, because you don't want to hear me waffling, you want to watch that working, don't you? It's got a hell of a width of a footprint of a boob. Quite quiet as well. like graceful in the boom section is all for turn off there with the air valves four wheel steer as it turns at the end into the tram line a little bit of a tap on the fence there <laughs> brake back swung back and off it goes again it'll drive 36 meters now turn down the next one engage the gps and then in the second when he gets 18 meters from the tram line which is half of 36 where we went around the outside before you see the boom start to turn on, probably around now, there you go. A bit of a rainbow there. Just for those that don't know, there's one, two, three, four, four wiper markers that I've run out doing the birthday bumper. This is what I use today. This is today's birthday bumper. It is massive today. That's my mate Toph. He's not got a second name, we just call him Toph. Don't know who Kevin is and I don't know who Terry is, but Rachel said Terry. So happy birthday to everyone that is on there, lots of them. And um, if it's your birthday and you're not on there, have a happy birthday. Finish of the night now, just before it goes dark. I just want to show you this though, because this is quite good. It's like a footpath. It's got this on it, the grain chain. So it's field to fork, you are here. And it says where your bread comes from and bacon and different random facts. Same as the John Deere combine. But I think it's good telling people what's going on in the local area. I'll focus it like that for a minute. So if you want to pause it and read it, you can. It's good it says at the bottom as well, don't let your dogs foul on your crops because that's basically your food. How cool does that look? That is it for today. Been a cracking day. 95% I think for me today. How are you? Let me know as a percent. And uh, I'll see you all tomorrow and hopefully it's another good day. What time is it now? It's 10 o'clock. It's Thursday night. There's a very important meeting going on in the kitchen and you're going to find out about it very soon. Well, maybe in about a month.